to my channel my name is alice rita to all new and returning subscribers you are welcome if you're hearing a background sound apologies i'm on holiday and the room next door is playing some i uh program on the tv in my video today i'm going to be showing you how to increase the brightness of your microscope image so recently a colleague called my attention to why after processing the image to a maximum projection that it's showing a low signal compared to what it was on the microscope and what do i mean by that so if we go to image stacks z project and we make a z stack you can see that my fluorescence image is barely visible however on the confocal microscope it was brighter than this so there are two ways that i showed my colleague on how to do this and i'm going to be showing you the two different way first i'm going to duplicate this image by going to let me know you so shortcut image and click on duplicate which is usually shift command d or shift ctrl d with that you then have these duplicated images next i'm going to then increase the brightness of this fluorescence image that is barely visible i don't know why image j always does that on the microscope it was very bright so there are two ways you can go about this the first is to use the contrast method and the second is still to use enhanced contrast method so what do i mean by the first i'm going to minimize this and apply the duplicate this one more time okay so if you go to image you can actually go to adjust brightness and contrast so if you go there this automatically open this window and you can see it's showing the distribution of the fluorescence pixel normally fluorescence pixel should show between the range of 0 and 200 and, uh, and 255 but this image has been 3d deconvolved so it's no longer an 8-bit image but rather uh 32 bit images and that's why we're having this value of 65535 so to increase the brightness of this image if you click you can use the auto adjust you can see that brightens it up and it brightens it up a lot if you can you can click on this as many times as possible you will observe that this bar here keeps raising as you click on the auto and once it gets to the maximum limit it will reset back to the original function so you can see it has reset back however it has brought this image it has increased the brightness of this image compared to with the reset so this was the original image and by the time it resets it to the, its limit back you can see this is a bit brighter however you can see the signal is no longer 655 so the first way is just to can just drag this until you are content with the brightness of your fluorescence image so you can adjust this to reduce the background sound uh, back the noise if you don't want the if you don't want any noise and the second option is just to use the reset function or just use the auto so if you're using the auto function remember to use that function across all your images so that it's reproducible and for me i usually try to play with a specific number of pixels so if i was to do this on my own I could just decide that okay after reset it was 10,000 so it means all the images I'm going to be working with I first click on the reset and then just drag this a bit so if I'm using 8519 I'm going to be applying that to all other images that I have open so you just click on apply so it's going to warn you that this pixel will change if you click ok so if you are content with this brightness setting you can just click ok if not it will if not you can click cancel and readjust it so you can see now that we've brightened the image that was not showing clearly this was the original image from the confocal and this is the one that uh, we've applied a little adjustment to under the microscope it was brighter than this it's just that images sometimes just uh, uh, changes some settings with the original image and also with the bright field you can click on the auto function and you can see that automatically also brightens that up compared to the original you can see the original here and this is the one that we've applied auto auto control to so what is the other function what is the other method that i would have used 
to adjust this image i'm going to minimize this too and then i'm just going to reprocess this stack z project and click on ok so now i have this image again so the second option that i was talking about is to use the enhanced contrast which is just by going to process and you can see here it says enhanced contrast if you click on that it can oh, it's going to show you that okay it can saturate the pixels by 0 0.3 and you can uh, when you click on that if you click on OK, you can see that the 0.3% increment of pixels has been applied across all images, not just the fluorescence image, even the dark, page, uh, the dark area of the images to have been modified with the 0.3%. So those are the two different ways to enhance your images. So if I'm going to do this also, I'm just going to go back to process, enhance contrast, 0.3. Normally by default, whatever value image J recommend for you is usually sufficient. So if it's not if it's not showing anything here, you can decide to play with different parameter until you get one that is suitable for your image. That's when you should click OK. And after that, remember to save that setting, uh, write that down in your lab book so that when you're trying to reproduce that image, you remember that you've applied the 0.3% pixel to all the images thank you for watching today's video if you have questions please remember to always ask if there is anything that is not clear i'm happy to always assist you in the comment section and until next time bye